Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Annette with Sunbeam Fabric Art. I am a person who saves up a lot of quilt tops to do all at once. And I wanted to take you on a tour of this strip ruler I use to cut my binding strips. I will leave a link to this product in my description below. But right now I just want to do a little demonstration for you and show how I cut some two and a half inch strips. I have two rotary cutters that I use. The one on the left, the Fonz and Porter, that is my everyday go-to because it retracts the blade on its own. I don't have to do it. That does make me feel just a little bit safer. This Ulfa rotary cutter I use exclusively with this um, ruler template that I use to cut two and a half inch strips. On this ruler at the bottom, there are markings for each slot and the slots go from zero to 20 inches and there is a slot for each half inch mark as well. So when I'm making two and a half inch strips, I'm going to cut on zero, two and a half, five, seven and a half, ten, twelve and a half, and on up. The first thing I do is fold my fabric in half once and I fold it down flat, I smooth it out, and I make that folded edge as straight as possible. Then I line up that first folded edge with a line on my mat. So here you can see I am lining up that top fold with a line on my mat. Then I am checking that bottom fold where I folded the bottom of the material up and I'm checking to make sure that also lines up with a line on my mat and I make any little adjustments as needed. The next step is to carefully lay this strip ruler down on top of the fabric. And I had to double check that left-hand edge to see where my zero line should line up with. Everything to the left of the zero line, when I cut it with my rotary cutter, will be excess. I take this process very slowly so I can line up the ruler lines on the mat lines, make sure the fabric is staying lined up as well. Once that's all lined up, I go ahead and make my cuts on zero, two and a half, five inches, seven and a half, and as far across as my fabric goes. Now the span for cutting on these slots is about 13 inches. So make sure your fabric folds down to less than 13 inches. The far left section left of the zero and the far right section where it didn't extend to another two and a half inches I take away and put those in my scrap pile and then I take my two and a half inch strips and make a little stack. All right, let's do that one more time. I line up my top fold with a line on my mat. I line up my bottom fold with a line on my mat. I then place the ruler on top line up ruler lines with lines on my mat and cut in the slots every two and a half inches. I wanted to include this backing fabric that I trimmed down because I, it was so long I had to do two top folds. So I did a top fold, then a bottom fold, then I did another top fold. Otherwise it would not have fit completely under that strip ruler. 
if you're like me and stitch down your quilts yourself and you save the quilt tops up for quite some time, you need a lot of binding all at once. And that is the real reason I bought this ruler in the first place. And I wanted to say thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you found this video useful. If you like my channel, please hit the subscribe and like buttons. And if you click that bell, you'll get notified when I post new content. Thank you.